the British Prime Minister with the Jaya. Mm-hmm. The Biden plan, which got in, in, in Israel for, 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 for the Gaza Strip, is something that was adopted by the UN Security Council. Whether it comes to fruition, it's awful close. We'll see. G7s are good. Okay. But look, I, I, I'm not going to explain any more about what I should or shouldn't do. I am running. I am running. Mm-hmm. And if you want to stop I, I, I me, come to have you been tested for any age-related illnesses, pre-Parkinson's, or anything like that that might explain sort of having a night like that where you couldn't finish sentences? <laughs> Keep in mind, that soundbite is supposed to be reassuring to those Democratic supporters who have gone wobbly. A human. <laughs> Strangely, many in the media seem to be doing their jobs all of a sudden, pointing out all the things that Biden says and does that prove that he's on a very real cognitive decline. He just did this interview with Joe Scarborough the other day that I guess was supposed to improve his image, but on the interview, you can literally hear him shuffling through papers and rambling still incoherently. And the folks out there in the local, uh, you know, race, during the call today to MSNBC, yeah, sure. was the president reading off of the script? So I was in the room when the president uh, called into Morning Joe. The president spoke from his heart. Uh, you know. Quotes, but not from a script? No, nope, it was not a script. A human. <laughs> <laughs> to the point that Jake Tapper is actually pointing that out. See, back in the past, the media would just act like none of this was happening and it was all just a bunch of right-wing propaganda and cheap fakes and videos that were taken out of context. And I could show you all the videos. It was really most of the media outside of like Fox News and Newsmax and networks like that. When it comes to network and cable media, for the most part, they were all running cover for Joe Biden. But now suddenly you see them actually pointing this stuff out. So in particular, I wanted to show you Jake Tapper because I just find this guy so obnoxious and he's been one of the guys out there really going after Joe Biden. He really wants him to drop out. And I just find that so irritating because he acted a completely different way in the past. I'm gonna show you that, but first, let me just show you a few clips of Jake Tapper over the last few days because he sounds a lot different than a month or two ago. Democratic Party donors and lawmakers and opinion makers, many of whom have serious concerns about Biden's ability to be the candidate and have called for him to step down after that debate performance that let's call baffling. In reality, 72% of voters say that they believe President Biden is too old. That's according to CNN's most recent polling. Voters have been saying this for quite a long time. No shit! And I, I, I really regret it happened. But the fact of the matter is, how, how can you assure you're going to be on, on you know, faith that can intervene on your way to go to, you know, work tomorrow? Age, age wasn't, you know, the idea is I'm too old. The fact of the matter is, how can you assure you're going to be out on, you know, on your way to go, you know, work tomorrow? Age, age wasn't, you know, the idea that I'm too old. Keep in mind, that soundbite is supposed to be reassuring to those Democratic supporters who have gone wobbly. Did you ever watch the debate afterwards? I don't think I did, no. A human. (laughs) Wow, is it just me or does Jake Tapper suddenly sound far right? Now, let me show you a very different Jake Tapper that the Jake Tapper now wants to pretend does not exist and never happened. It's very clearly a cognitive decline. Okay. That's what I'm referring to. It makes me uncomfortable. You have you are no ab- you have, is, I can't, this this so amazing. It's so amazing to me and, that, and, that and try and figure out an answer. A cognitive decline. Well, when you're trying you, to you, tell you, me that what I was suggesting was I a stuttering. I think that you were mocking his stutter. No idea, yeah, I think you were mocking his stutter, and I think you have absolutely no standing to diagnose no. somebody's cognitive decline. I would think that somebody in the Trump family would be more sensitive to people who do do not have medical licenses, diagnosing politicians from afar. Plenty of people have diagnosed your father from afar, and I'm sure it offends you, your father-in-law from afar, I'm sure it offends you. You don't have any standing to say- I'm not diagnosing him. What I'm saying, Jake, is that we can clearly see 
that Joe I, Biden I, I, is I have one struggling last question for you, Laura. You can't be times you... on stage. And it's very concerning to a lot of people that this could be the leader of the free world. OK, that is all I'm saying. I genuinely Thank you, feel Laura, sorry so. for Joe. Biden. I appreciate it. What an asshole. <laughs> wow, that guy is such a piece of shnikey. It just goes to show you how deceptive and untrustworthy these supposed news networks are. I mean, we already knew CNN and these networks were in the tank for Democrats and were covering for Joe Biden. But man, the subterfuge is really gone at this point. What do you all think? Are they going to somehow get rid of Biden or is he going to stay and try to come in the White House again? Let me know what you all think in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks.